What's going on guys, you're checking out QGN HQ. My name is Chris and welcome back to a brand new video. First off, before we get started, I wanna thank all of you guys for the feedback on last week's video. Uh, the giveaway is still going on, so if you guys have not entered, be sure to watch that video and enter the giveaway. It will be linked down below in the description as well as the card section here. There will be a giveaway at the end of this video as well, so stay tuned. So, last week I introduced you guys the brand new Luminosa mouse by Electronics, which is a really, really awesome competitive gaming mouse that you guys just had to hear about. Uh, it's Electronics' first mouse, so I want to give it a proper versus video, so who else to put it up against other than Final Mouse? You guys know who Final Mouse is, it literally needs almost little to no introduction, but just in case you don't, I'm going to put it up against the Air 58 Ninja this week. That's Final Mouse's lightest mouse as well as their most popular mouse on the market. So um, let's put these two head to head and hopefully you guys can figure out at the end of the video which one you know might fit your needs. All right guys, let's go ahead and get right into it. When putting both these mice side by side, the very first thing you're gonna notice here is the cosmetics. Take a look at the Air 58 Ninja. I have it here in Cherry Blossom Blue. It's a nice matte finish of blue on the top and black on the sides here. Uh, each scroll wheel is unique because they're all different, not one and two are the same, uh, which is definitely kind of cool here. So it does make your mouse a little bit more uh, special compared to someone else who has the same mouse as you. Unlike the Luminosa here, which is a plain black mouse, but it has RGB. The RGB is very, very vibrant and very easy to customize, which I really do like. Because if you want to match your setup here, depending on what lighting scheme you have going on, it's very easy to do so, unlike being stuck with either blue or red when it comes to the Air 58. So let's talk about weight. The Air 58 Ninja comes at a 58 grams, and they achieved that by having the honeycomb shell, which makes the mouse super lightweight and very hollow feeling. Unlike the Luminosa, which comes at 94 grams in weight, and that's probably due to the RGB aspect, um, when it comes to both mice, you know, the Air 58 is a very, very light mouse, and that is Final Mouse's, you know, very big push here. That's what their selling point is when it comes to their mice, is that they have the lightest mouse on the market. Now, 94 grams in Luminosa doesn't feel too bad to me. Honestly, I feel like it's right in the sweet spot because it's not over the top heavy, and it's not too light. It feels, you know, pretty good to play with. So, if you're looking for the lightest mouse on the market, then you have to give it here to Final Mouse because they have that on lock. But if you don't mind having a little extra weight to the mouse, then definitely go with the Luminosa. Now, what I really do love about both of these mice is that they come equipped with a power cord. If you guys haven't had a power cord on a mouse before, it's absolutely amazing. It's as light as a feather. It doesn't get snagged or anything. It almost feels like you're playing with a wireless mouse. It's something that is just a dream to have on any mouse. When it comes to button layout, both mice feel very comfortable and they're very easy to access. Uh, comparing the two mice, the Luminosa does have one extra button over the final mouse here on the top. Both mice also come with Omron switches, which are good for 50 million clicks, which are pretty much the best you can get in the market. But uh, one thing I have noticed is that because of the design of the final mouse, the clicks are a lot louder compared to the Luminosa, and you guys can hear that for yourself here. When it comes to gaming, both mice feel really, really good here on the mouse pad. But as an added bonus here, Luminosa throws in an extra pair of glides here, so if the original ones do wear out, you don't have to go and purchase a new pair. Now, because both of these mice revolve heavily around eSport and competitive gameplay, they both come equipped with a PixArt sensor. Now, this sensor is super snappy, super responsive, and for sure will improve anybody's gameplay. So when it comes to DPI settings, this is where I think the Luminosa has the upper hand. With the Air 58, you only have three modes which can only be adjusted on the mouse itself. The Luminosa features a fluid and easy to use software that offers a lot more range and allows you to create different profiles that you could save straight to the mouse, which is absolutely great for travel. In addition, the software also has options for polling rate, key binding, a macro editor, RGB control, and even controls the speed of your double clicks. Like I said earlier, the Luminosa is super customizable. So the Air 58 Ninja retailed at $89.99 when it released. It is no longer available on Final Mouse's website, and as you can see, most of their mice are not much cheaper, and they're currently sold out because of high demand. 
Electronics, however, is offering an early bird special right now, and you can pick up the Luminosa on their website or Amazon.com for just $39.95. And of course, all of these links can be found below in the description as well as the comment section. So there you have it guys. Both mice are phenomenal products, but at the end of the day, if I had to pick a clear winner here, I'm gonna go with the Luminosa, and that's because you get way more features at a way better price point. It's literally half the price of a final mouse, and it's more readily available. But I wanna hear what your opinion is down below in the comment section, so let me know which mouse you would pick up. I love hearing your feedback. A huge shout out to Electronics. They're sponsoring another huge giveaway on the channel, guys. Three mice on this video alone. All you guys have to do is be a subscriber, enter the Gleam link. Like I stated earlier, uh, last week's video, that giveaway is still going on, so be sure to find it in the description and jump in on that giveaway. Uh, good luck to all of you guys. Seriously, this mouse is awesome. I hope you guys can win one. Um, well guys, if you're new here, consider subscribing, share the video with a friend, give it a huge thumbs up, and leave your feedback down below in the comments section. I love each and every one of you. I'll see you guys next week. Peace out.